Singapore today is often described as a place where the East meets West. But more than 150 years ago, Singapore was already a meeting place for people from the East and the West coming together in common pursuit of economic prosperity and opportunity. Eighteen sixty nine was Singapore's fiftieth year as a British colony. That year, one of the most significant events was the visit of Prince Alfred, Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Alfred was Queen Victoria's second son, and his visit marked the first time a member of the British royal family visited Singapore. On the day of his arrival, a grand reception was held for him at the government house. On that occasion, uh, the Singapore Chinese merchants presented the prince with a gift. The address was written in English and Chinese, in gold ink on silk. In the address, the Chinese merchants pledged their loyalty to the Queen and also expressed gratitude to British rule, which had enabled them to prosper on the island. This is a unique document because it lists the names of 79 important Chinese merchants in Singapore. Now, the first name that appear on the list is Tan Kim Ching. He was the eldest son of Tan Tok Sing and he was the founder of the Tan Tok Sing Hospital. He was also one of the wealthiest men in Singapore at the time and was appointed the Siamese Consul to Singapore. Other names in the list include prominent merchants like Hua Ke, commonly known as Wang Po, Xia Yu Qin and Chang Hong Lim. So this literally gives us a view of the who's who in the Chinese community at the time. As you can see, on both sides of the address uh, is a wooden panel carved with the phoenix in foliage. Uh, the address is a single sheet uh, in six foldable panels uh, and can be folded uh, like a Chinese uh, foldable scroll book. On the reverse of the address is a panoramic view of Singapore showing the Tolo Ayer area. The picture is a copy of a painting by artist Percy Carpenter entitled Singapore from Mount Wallich, which the artist drew in 1856. Prince Alfred's visit and subsequent royal visits were celebrated with much pomp. For the British, the royal visits with the accompanying uh, ceremony and spectacle were a good opportunity to remind the local population that a great empire was ruling them. And for the local population, it was an opportunity to showcase their, the community's prosperity. The address is an important record of the Chinese community in Singapore 150 years ago. It shows their involvement and the active role they played in the public affairs of Singapore. It also reflects the interesting relationship between the Chinese and the British colonial rulers. The Chinese pledged their loyalty to the British. In return, British rule provided stability and security which enabled the Chinese to pursue their economic goals.